Okay, thanks for joining us. Um, what we hope to do today is basically deconstruct what we think is a really good commercial and uh, in the process of doing that, hopefully give you some insights into improving your own work. Uh, so this is the opening shot. Uh, it's actually two shots in one, an establishing shot and an over-the-shoulder shot. We really love how the camera is locked down in all these frames in all these shots and actually in this particular scene the girl walks into the frame enters the frame so it adds a motion to the, the shot without even moving the camera uh, the second shot we got here then is a, a reverse angle over the shoulder shot uh, these shots are commonly used for um, dialogue um, again this is a highly effective shot uh, nice framing you've got uh, foreground middle ground and background um, and it looks like they pretty much shot with uh, available light, although perhaps maybe they threw in a, some light in the back on that chair. Going back to the first shot, this is really just a take on the first shot, again over the shoulder. This is a great well-framed shot, has a lot of depth, a lot of focus, and uh, there's a lot of uh, things that add to the depth. You know, you can see the food out on the countertop there, the clock in the background. You can see even all the way out the windows. Windows look to be a little blown out, but... Uh, it's a pretty well framed shot and it's it's framed within the doorway so it's actually a frame within a frame this is a great this is a what we call a medium shot uh, or a medium uh, medium also known as a waist shot basically at her waist it's um goes below her elbows there and this is a great shot in that it kind of brings you closer to her and into her world and even even still here you can see there's some background there so there's depth in this shot and it's again it's it's a frame within a frame uh, very nicely done and we're back again to the over-the-shoulder shot uh, at this point in the story the the mom is uh, pulling up Google app on her tablet or whatever she's got their iPhone or something um, but this is a very uh, in these shots the camera doesn't move at all very well framed and there's plenty of action within the frame to uh, to hold your interest so we're gonna move on now to this is our first close-up shot and this is actually a point of view shot um, as through the eyes of the mother uh, looking at her tablet getting the Google app uh, close-up shots are you know fairly common nowadays but they shouldn't be overused uh, they're usually with a shallow depth of field and you can see how blurry the the muffin there is in the background uh, and now this is a very important shot here this is actually a uh, reaction shot uh, and a medium shot as well. Uh, a medium shot again is about from the waist up. Uh, there are no hard and fast rules about this, but uh, basically from the waist up is considered a medium shot. And a medium close up is tighter than a medium shot, but wider than a close up. Uh, and here we go back to a, a close up shot. So it's a point of view shot. So these shots are important because they allow us to get inside the mind of the character. We get to see what the character's seeing, but then as a follow-up to that, we have to see their reaction to what they're seeing. So it's this concept of action, reaction is is absolutely critical to making an en engaging story or something that really holds your interest. That's kind of a classic shot of there. Now we see there's trouble, and we can read her emotion there. That's uh, concern, distress. Uh, whatever and you got the body language there with the medium shot so uh, we're interested in her reaction now and you know we sense there's there's something not right and that's that'll be key to the story as we go along and what's amazing this is all in the space of 30 seconds and uh, <laughs> so here we go now the point of view shot we're not exactly sure who it is but we can probably figure it out uh, we're just looking at a drawer it's basically a close-up shot even though there's a lot in the drawer basically considered a close-up of the contents of the drawer and it's a uh, just a straight above shot um, you know I would imagine that was probably pretty easy to set up <laughs> and then uh, here we got kind of a medium close-up shot and when we say medium close-up it might be a little confusing there's different terms for all these but a close-up is basically a head shot a medium shot is basically from the waist up and a medium close is kind of in the middle so if you could kind of imagine a, a person, you know, that's a, a tie and a kind of a hat off there to the corner. It's about from the waist up, I would say maybe, maybe a little higher than the waist up. Uh, another close-up shot we've got here of the drawer. 
And what's uh, great about, I don't believe it was this shot, but the shot just prior um, to this uh, close-up shot, you actually saw the drawer opening. So they, they've added in-frame movement within all of these shots, and, and uh, we feel that that's a really critical component to these uh, staging these shots. And all these shots are locked shots. The camera not moving. The camera is not moving in any of these shots. It's all just the subject moving. But the way the the shots are edited, they're all maybe one to two seconds long, one to three seconds long, and there's well staged action within the frame. The the camera doesn't even have to to move. And so all we know at this point in the story is the mom's upset, and now she's really busting the move to <laughs> get things done. Now here's a, what we call a long shot. Uh, this is well framed again. It's a, technically a frame within a frame, uh, so it's a nice, well balanced shot. And we the, notice the the mother is turned toward us, so we get to see her. We see her in her kind of flurry of activity. Um, you know, so this is uh, giving us an idea that she's she's moving fast. She's got kind of a workshop set up, and it's a well balanced shot. Um, here we go to what we call again a medium close up, basically from the elbow up. We, where you can see the, the shoulders. It's really a cross between a, a close-up and a medium shot. So it's uh, from about the elbows up to the shoulders. So we can see some body language, and then we can also see the face. Uh, here, you know, there's probably more background than you really need to see. And then we're back to this long shot. Again, the, with the long shot, you can see the entire person in a long shot from head to toe. And so it gives, uh, of all the shots, it's the one shot that gives you the sense of the subject in their environment where the, the background is as important as the subject. So we're wanting you to know that what we're telling you about this person is that she's got, uh, you know, she's a seamstress, she's a can-do craftsperson. And now this, again, is a medium close-up shot um, from about, again, the elbows up. And uh, you see the tablet is prominently displayed, and that's actually what we're selling. So... In a sense, it's a, a two-shot because you've got the, the tablet and her. So probably at some point in making this, they said, you know, we got to get more tablet in this. You know, like they say, more cowbell. They probably said, more tablet. And uh, here we go, another point of view shot. Again, these are important as in terms of getting us in tr inside the character's mind. And uh, there's our Martin, Martin Van Buren shot. I'm assuming that's probably public domain. <laughs> so that's not a problem using that we're getting close to the end here as far as this goes and this is uh, the second to the last scene of where we see the final product where actually she did a really good job if she did that in summer and makeup but that's a close shot and this is the one shot that's actually moving where the camera appears to be mounted on the side of the car this, is only, this shot and the next shot are the only two shots in this whole thing where the the camera is actually moving and even when it's the camera's moving it's actually locked down so um and here's the final shot and this is a two shot and it's kind of we say about a medium uh but it's it really says it all right here job done and you can see by her face there's been a change in her emotional state from the beginning uh, to to now so there's been an uh, emotional switch with her and that's important as we kind of go into summary so summary real quickly is the Hitchcock rule, and that is to fill the frame with what's important at that moment in time. So as you notice and look back over this video, you'll see whatever was important in the story at that time filled the frame. And that's where you direct the viewer's attention either by depth of focus, depth of field, focus, and uh, you know framing. And this is really key and what we loved about this commercial is you don't need to move the camera if you have good staging and blocking. All of the shots in this camera, all of these shots in this entire advertisement were locked shots, locked static shots, but it was carefully thought through and choreographed so that there was enough in-frame movement, as particularly this opening sequence shot, which is really well done and staged. And the third point is what we would call the Robert McKee rule is every good story has to have an emotional reversal. So she went from either from negative to positive or positive to negative. That's important and that moves the story forward. Seeing that emotional switch, there has to usually be one in most good stories. And then finally, don't,
forget your action reaction shots. You need to have a point of view. We need to get inside the character's mind, see what they see, but then we need to also see how they react to what they're seeing. And that's critical and you know, to creating a really great movie. So we hope you found this helpful and keep good work and keep filming.